So Franklin Mankin will go away from the pole in the 63M along with the 621 of Trevor Gibbons. Row 2, it's Brennan Moore in the 35, Jamie Brown in the 10B. Row 3, Eric Dyer in the 34, Jessica Power in the 52. Row number 4, Tyler Corcoran, 64, Fox 28, Tyler Stevenson, Dave Rogers in the 44 will complete your field. Nine cars ready to go. Eight laps is the distance. First of two heats in the Bob Johnson Auto Group. Dirt Car Sportsman. Dave Farney turns the field loose up off of turn number four. Green lights are on and away we go. Everybody gets through turns one and two cleanly as they hustle down the back straight away. It will be Franklin Mackin edging out in front of Trevor Gibbons into turn number three. Jamie Brown, Brennan Moore, Jessica Power, they're all knotted up from third on back. Eric Nyer makes a big move to the inside, picks up a couple of spots. Almost two spots there, almost three spots rather, for Eric Nyer as they head up into turn number one and two. But Jessica Power fighting back on the high lane. Nyer is going to get the advantage coming off of turn number two rather. Nyer picks up fourth. Power trying to rally back on that high lane just in front of them. It's Jamie Brown holding on to third as Franklin Mackin continues to show the way right there by Speedy. The Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman Drivers right into your living room one more time as they've done all season here at can -Am. And right now... Tyler Corcoran in a fight for that championship with Mike Fowler tonight. Wants to start as far forward as he possibly can. Trying to get around Jessica Power as they work it up off a of turn number four and back down to the line. Corcoran gets five power for position number four. And now he'll sweep to the outside portion of the racetrack. Trying to get by Jamie Brown for position number three as they draw even terms down the back straightaway. Brown, however, will pull away down the back chute. Trying to close in on Gibbons for the two spot. Good seesaw battle there back and forth for positions two, three, and four. Not affecting Franklin Mackin whatsoever. He's missing a heck of a show back here from second on back, but Franklin doesn't care. He wants to get out there and win this heat race and do it in a commanding fashion, and he is doing just that right now. Eight car length advantage into turn number three and four for the Russell, New York native, working it off of turn number four using the bottom portion of the speedways. We keep our eye on the battle from second on back. Jamie Brown has it. Tyler Corcoran moves by Gimmis to pick up third. Power trying to move in there as well. Eric Nyer, who was charging forward at the onset, on the onset of this heat race, dropped back a couple of spots here in the lake going as Jessica Power moves into contention for the number four spot, trying to get around Gibbons into turn number three, and will do just that. In the meantime, Tyler Corcoran taking away the second spot at the start-finish line, two to go. As Franklin Mackin continues to show the way Corcoran has gone around, Jamie Brown for position number two. Jessica Power trying to move in along with Eric Nyer. He's gotten up into the top five problems for Trevor Gibbons on the backstretch. He is going to move that car right to pit road and a tough break for Trevor. White flag is in the air. Final trip around the Canium Speedway for Franklin Mackin. Into turn number one and two as they work it down the back straightaway. Franklin. Looking to get a heat win here as they work it into turn number three and a four. Checkered flag is in the air, and the win will go to Franklin Mackin in car number 63. He takes the victory, his first heat win of the season. Tyler Corcoran second, followed by Jamie Brown, Jessica Power, Eric Nyer, Tyler Stevenson, Dave Rogers, and Brennan Moore will complete the rest of your field. That does it. Heat race number one for the Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman is complete. There's your top five right there on Dirt Track Digest. Franklin Mackin, Tyler Corcoran, Jamie Brown, Jessica Power, and Eric Nyer. Heat race number two for the Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman. Ready to roll track side in just a moment. We'll give you the starting lineup. So Frank Sibley goes from the pole in the 92 with Justin Gadball alongside, Ryan Shanahan the 32 and the 6 of Brian Hudson, 7D of Dustin Hutton, 57 of Remington Ham, Mike Fowler in the 410, the 5R of Stevie Roberts, and Gavin Isley in the 18 will complete it. Ready to go green. Eight laps is the distance, second of two heats for the Bob Johnson Auto Group. Dirt Car Sportsman is underway. Frank Sibley, who usually likes the top side of this speedway, 
running from the bottom here, trying to pull even with Justin Gadbaugh down the back straightaway as Sibley goes to the bottom lane. He'll try to pick up the lead. Gadbaugh pretty strong through the top side portion of the racetrack as they work it up off the turn. Side by side for the lead. They were nearly four wide behind them for a minute for position number three as Ryan Shanahan, Remington Ham, and the rest of the field were all knotted up back there. In the meantime, Sibley has taken over the top spot as they work it into turn number three and four. Gadbaugh second. Good battle for third behind them. Oh, and Sibley goes around in front of Gadbaugh. Everybody scatters to avoid Sibley in turn number three and four, and everybody will do so. Yellow lights are on. And Sibley just simply lost a handle over there in turn number four. We're going to get another look at it here on Dirt Track Digest, and we'll get a better look at it as we are watching it here up on our monitor. Sibley into turn number three and four. Bobbles just a bit and caught one of the slick spots over there in turn number three, and around he went. Just a simple spin over there. Gadbot did get a piece of him on the way by. Stevie Roberts almost collected him over there. Good move by Roberts to get through. Good to see the Harrisville native back in a race car after uh, some time away. Seen Stevie before in uh, the old Pure Stock Division back in the day and also uh, competed in Sportsman for a few seasons. Stepped away from the sport for a bit and back into it now. So green flag will be displayed this time by. Two laps are complete, six to go. Coming up after the uh, Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman will be the first of two heats in the Marsha Gibbons TLC Real Estate Thunder Cars. Glad you could join us here tonight at the Can-Am Speedway Championship Night as Dave Farney looks the field over one more time. Remington Ham, your new race leader off of turn number four. We're back to green. Ryan Shanahan jumps to second. Dustin Hutton there for third. Justin Gadbaugh, Brian Hudson after one another for spots four and five. And there's your point leader, Mike Fowler, trying to make something happen in this heat race, trying to go towards the front of the field. His closest nemesis in the championship, Tyler Corcoran, finished second in his heat race just a moment ago. And Fowler moving forward quickly. Went from sixth to fifth to fourth. And now he's looking for third around the seven of Dustin Hutton as they work it down the back straightaway. Fowler down on the low lane. Hutton there through the middle portion of the racetrack. Fowler trying to get after him in turn number three and four. Can't quite do it. Up off of turn number four. Back down to the line. Hutton washes way wide up off the turn. Opens the door as Fowler gets by. And here comes Gavin Isley from last starting spot on the grid. Gavin Isley now up into the number four spot. So the performance on the Moto 18 starting to go forward at the right time at the halfway point. Dustin Hutton, though, rallies back on the inside lane. Good side-by-side -side battle. Four positions, four and five. In the meantime, Remington Ham continues to show the way as Speedy gets another good action shot down the front stretch into turn number one as the race leader, Remington Ham, pulling away down the back straightaway. 32, Ryan Shanahan, 410, and Mike Fowler right there, second and third, as Shanahan stepped it up on a line, trying to figure out a different lineup off the turn to run down Remington Ham, but he's not been able to do it. In the meantime, though, Mike Fowler closing in on Shanahan for the two spot. So working into turns one and two, he got two laps left to go, and Fowler is all over the back bumper of Shanahan down the back straightaway. Remington Ham trying to take it home. Up off a of turn number number four, the white flag is in the air this time by final trip around the Can-Am Speedway for Remington Ham. Looking for his first heat win of the season, or excuse me, his third heat win of the season. Ham down the back straightaway, a comfortable lead, about four car lengths over Ryan Shanahan and Mike Fowler into turn number three and four of the win for the third time this season. In heat action, we'll go to Remington Ham. He'll pick up the victory. Second spot at the line, we'll go to Ryan Shanahan by mere inches over Fowler. Fourth, we'll go to Dustin Hutton, 18 to Gavin Isley, followed by Brian Hudson, Frank Sibley, and Justin Gadbaugh. In